Hi everyone, it's Nicole with Maine Snap-Ed and Healthy Acadia, and I am here with a special October episode of Kitchen Witchery. And today I'm going to show you how to take a handful of apples and magically transform them into delicious homemade applesauce. So grab your ingredients and join me in the kitchen. For our homemade applesauce recipe, you'll just need a few simple ingredients. Four to five apples of any variety, two tablespoons of sweetener, like maple syrup, brown sugar, or honey, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and you'll also want a squeeze of lemon juice, or a splash of vinegar, or a squirt of bottled lemon juice. You'll also want to grab a knife, cutting board, stirring spoon, and a large pot. Start by washing your hands with hot water and soap for 20 seconds. Then, carefully dice all of your apples and add the diced pieces to the pot on the stove. Next, measure out a half cup of water and add it to your pot on the stove. Now, we will add two tablespoons of your sweetener of choice and two teaspoons of cinnamon powder. Give everything on the stove a big stir, turn your burner to medium-high heat and cover with a lid. Allow your apple mixture to simmer on the stove for 15 to 20 minutes until it begins to break down. Give it a good stir from time to time and use your spoon to break up some of the large apple chunks. Mmm, your house should be smelling great right about now. All right, so after about 20 minutes of simmering on the stove, my applesauce is ready. And the finishing touch is to add a little bit of acidity to balance out the flavor of our applesauce. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit of fresh lemon juice, but you can also add a splash of vinegar or a little squirt of bottled lemon juice. I'm going to add about a tablespoon. Give our applesauce a final stir. And this is the moment you might want to taste it. You could enlist the help of some kiddos to taste as well. Mmm, tastes like fall. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this super easy, yummy, make your own applesauce recipe. And let me know if you try it at home. Thanks, everyone.